Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect CG Dropshipping to Facebook Store in 2023. Integrating CG Dropshipping with your Facebook Store can significantly expand your products offering and sales potential. So in this guide, we'll walk you through the essential steps to get started with this integration. So make sure to stick by, let's dive right into this video and of course make sure to follow the steps one by one and let's get started before we start with this video make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience so first we'll have to go and log in into your cg drop repaying account to do so go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with here in my case is going to be like a brave browser and of course in your case you can use any other browser that you could possibly have once you open that browser go to this URL section and here make sure to type cg drop shipping.com and hit the enter button this will take you to the home screen or main screen so let me just log out so you can see the actual uh, home screen so of course if you have an account go to the top right corner sign into your account and if you don't click on register instead so here of course i will just log in with my google or Shopify, both I have connected to the same account. Of course, for you, you can enter your username and email address and password if you want to, or use like uh, WhatsApp, uh, Facebook, Google, Apple, or even Shopify to so don't go through all the boring steps of creating or even logging into your account. So for me, I'll just use Google here, and of course, I'll choose my accounts, and this will log me right into my account. So now, of course, we'll have to do the same for your online or Facebook store. So just go and type, like, as an example, go to your Facebook store. So I'll just type store here so they can get me to my shop right away. So, of course, as you can see, so if you click on get started, let's see if they'll take me to my business accounts. So it's not available in my region. It's fine. So let's just go to normal Facebook as an example. Let's go to store. I guess because I have like. Okay, nice that they get me here. Let's see if I can have access to my store. Because like, yeah, I let's let just present that this is a store. So you would like to connect that store to your CG dropshipping. So how can you do that? As an example, if you go to CG dropshipping, go to your account in the top right corner, click on account, and go to this uh, store authorization here. And as you can see, if we check check here at the left, you will find Shopify. And you find a lot of steps uh, or stuffs here but you will not find Facebook. So as you can see, you'll not uh, be able to connect CG dropshipping to Facebook through here. So what can you do in this case? You can connect like, or you can use another store to connect Facebook to CG dropshipping using Shopify. So make sure to go, to, of course, to uh, store authorization, go to Shopify and connect your Shopify account. Once you connect your Shopify account, of course, go and open a new tab, go to shopify.com, log in into your account. And of course, here, make sure to go to the slash panel apps, uh, all recommended apps, uh, Shopify app store. And here we will have to simply type Facebook. And of course, as you can see, you'll find here Facebook and Instagram. So make sure to go and install that. So we'll have to wait a bit. Of course, make sure to read all the data privacy and meta uh, like uh, privacy policy, or whatever you want, and click on add sales channel. So of course, we will have after that to connect into our Facebook account. They will ask us to do so. So we'll have to wait a bit. As you can see, so click on get started. Connect accounts, which is the first thing. Continue, of course. And as you can see, if you have a catalog for your products, connect your uh, the business account that owns it, you will be able to manage uh, how to advertise <coughs> your product later. So, of course, basically, so you'll have to go and do that. Then you will have to uh, make data sharing, then terms and conditions. So, for me, as you saw earlier, you'll not be able to uh, use it in my region. For you, you'll be able to use it in your region. Uh, so, basically, just finish the, con uh, the connection. Once you do so, you'll basically have to go to your CG uh, dropshipping account and list your products. If your Shopify is connected, you'll basically find like the product listed as example here. So I have here two product listed. If I go to connection, uh, as you can see, you'll find two as listed and show my Shopify. I'll just show you in my Shopify here. So I can go to my online store 
or instead I'll just go to products instead, sorry. So as you can see, I'll find here two uh, products that are active. And if my Shopify is connected to my Facebook, I did not finish the, connect the connection here. So is my Shopify, if my Shopify is connected in my Facebook, that means uh, the products that I have in my Shopify will be connected to my Facebook store. And this will automatically, uh, or Shopify store, so basically here he will be connected and as i said of course now if i like uh, go and add a new product so i don't know let you just go to listed or let's just go to their home screen or main screen here just use the product like this product let's just go click on this and here as you can see so i have here a lot of things i'll just type uh, okay that's a lot so 10 10 10 10 I'll just put it one because I'm just like, uh, okay, those are too much. <laughs> I choose the wrong product. So one, 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 one. For you, of course, just enter your accurate price, then click on list it now. Uh, store price. Okay, I did not even finish those. 10, one, one, one. Let's see. So now they are connecting to my account. And of course, once it's connected, I'll find it uh, listed here on my Shopify. And if my Facebook uh, connected to my uh, Shopify, it will be listed to my store right away. So as simple as that. You can even use like another tool called Zapier. So login into your account. Of course, you will use like Shopify and the same uh, thing. You will have to use Shopify because dropshipping is not in Zapier. So here, okay, like I click on sign up instead of sign in. I'll have to click on sign in. Here, of course, I'll have to choose my account here. Here, I'll just type when I list and you products as examples in my show if I store add it to my Facebook store also so not type products here it's fine i guess uh, the, it's ai so it should understand this I, I guess so they are generating as you can see so new products creates page posts as example so click on try it basically here you'll have to uh, solve the end solves like uh, status here so here you'll have to choose an account and here i'll have to choose an account make a test if everything is working you'll be good to go and when you you can turn it on to automate it so whenever you list something it will be added to your facebook store and you'll be good to go so it's as simple as that let's just refresh and see if it's added here and my as you can see it's added to my shopify even if i add it in cg drop shipping and if my facebook is connected to this shopify it will be added to my store right away so that's going to be it for me today thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video